So, very next cast, I catch this guy. This one, first of all, the size makes it very suspicious. I mean, this could be one, but it's big. I use my handy dandy little dressmaker's tape and put this thing on top of it. You can see it's well in excess of 13 inches. So, that already makes me suspicious because that is a very unusually large red eye, like really unusual. Notice that uh, it doesn't really have the blotches as much as it has kind of a line. Um, and the blotches are a lot closer together. Notice the complete lack of color in the anal fin and in the, pel and in the pelvic fin. And we were talking about the, the weird, you know, sharp tail versus rounded tail. It's a perfect example of kind of a hybrid between the two, if you will. Um, you know, it isn't nearly as sharp as a pure Alabama bass, but it does have more of a point on the tail there than a Tallapoosa bass would have. So I think, I feel like this is probably one of those natural hybrids that occur in this system. Um, but I'll tell you, this is the, these are the kinds of fish that fool anglers into thinking they've caught themselves a trophy red-eye bass. The uh, work that Matt Lewis did in all, when he was at Auburn University showed that really about less than 2% of all red-eye bass that were pure exceeded 12 inches, and none of them were over 13, um, I think. I think he had one Kusa bass that was like close to 14. But this would be like a lifetime fish, and uh, I kind of doubt that it is. I feel like this is probably one of those fish that are hybridized and again we're not talking 50 50 you know these fish have been doing this for a long time you know so this is a fish that could be you know 70 or 75 maybe even 80 percent red eyes but they got some growth help from the alabama bass and so they reach these sizes a lot easier than a uh, pure talapusa bass but either way this is a really pretty fish uh it may be a, a, a hybrid, but it's a natural hybrid. And so, you know, whatever's going on here, we're not sure exactly why it's doing that. But you can still consider this a native fish. Don't know what I would say about fish like this. Um, and whether or not this is a conservation problem. Or is this just the way this system has been and maybe has always been, for all we know.